Hey there, everyone. This is El Cowling Waterware. We're doing the grid, and we got one grid left. See, all of these are full of flowers. And if they're full of flowers there, you can assume that they're flowers all the way through. So, Wario, which I recall is like a remix of games from everywhere. Maybe it has its own things too, and I forgot. It's very possible. So there are four rows, but also I haven't done the boss, right? So I'm seeing this in the best of ways, taking five videos, one for each rows, and then we'll leave the boss for last. We'll do the boss and the, in the same video, hopefully, the thing that, the reason why I've been doing the whole grid in the first place. I don't know if you remember, but that's supposed to unlock something, and it's kind of the reason why I've been doing all this. Genre anything goes. You picked my games, Demo. So you must not be a complete idiot. What? You are? <laughs> no, you want to know what they are? You expect me to explain them one by one? No way. Try them out yourself, you lazy bum. It's a quote, so you know that. That's something Wario really said. All right, well, let's get going. Wario bro, here we go. Ten points only. Help me get the coin. Try bumping the floor with my head to get it. Ouch. My melon. So you move and you jump. All right, so here we go somewhere. All right, so check it out. Whoa, you're playing as Wario. He looks like a little football dude, something squishy jelly bean. He really does. All right, hey, here's. My, all right, I did it. I soared over Jout Man and got food. Uh, uh, no, oh, he stole it from me. All right, I'm gonna try it. It's a ten point, so it's still plausible. Okay, so you can bump. Bumping is a valid way to get it. Hey, but you didn't get it though. Okay, but I mean if you want to get it that way, you have to actually get it. Dude! That is so rude. It's so weird having a game with like a, a losing condition. That is not just like losing. What? Okay, well. Game... <laughs> this mini game is original game accurate. In that it does not control well at all. Have you played- dude. Have you played like Mario- the original Mario Brothers? It's hard to control. But also, yeah, I am not a fan of just how solid Mario is. Like, if he decides to bump into you, it's like, no, alright, I guess this is it. Hey, see, there it helped me out. But that's because of the orientation the coin was going in the first place. Yeah, like, that is kind of how you have to get the third one, I think. Alright, okay, well, hey, now we didn't die. That's pretty good. So hit it early. Looks like as long as the coin... See, like, uh, you control so badly, but... It's arcade accurate. Oh, uh, no, wait. But sometimes the coin goes the wrong way like that. And I don't know what to do. Oh, what? Okay, that counted. It's all good. I mean... Uh, no! Like, I'm trying to jump over him, but like, he's solid like a wall. Okay, okay. Okay, I should be- it's a level one, so I should have it, no problem. Yeah, just let the coin get to you. Okay, uh, yeah, so it's like, it's like, I- When it's that arrangement, when the coins go left, like that, I'm not sure how to go through Mario, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Oh, this is a start! <laughs> this is a last world, so it is going to be difficult. Laser vision! 15 points is a timing game. Don't even think about putting that in my eye. I hate eye drops. Fair enough. Shoot laser. Or drop. One or the other. Well, you're kind of spoiling it. Yeah, it's squirt. No squirt! I <laughs> will squirt you with my powerful beam. Squirt. So, that thing stops on a dime. Which, you know what? Fair enough. Like, it's understandable. I I understand the logic of it. Some games I feel like there's a little bit of a slide. 
Not this one. Also, that is clearly the special beam cannon. He's all squinty. He's all like, oh, I'm so mad. Staring straight up at the ceiling where a floating <laughs> eye drop hovers over my head. <laughs> that makes me full of rage. <laughs> I will summon forth my magic eye lasers. I'm so mad. And then if you miss, that happens and it, it's a little embarrassing. I keep being too fast. Like, I keep being a bit too early. Which is honestly great, because if if in a game I tend to be too early, that means I'm more likely to nail it in the higher speeds. So while I know that sometimes I'm kind of quit on just, like, mulliganing, I feel like sometimes if I lose early, it's, it's actually secretly... A good sign because like I said it means if I'm er too early well the game is slower that makes it more likely that I'll have the exact right time when it goes faster see how it's going now exactly what I'm talking about that's right fry those plastic containers that shatter upon light well squirt on nothing squirt the forehead yeah it's forehead drop you know when you got forehead pain all right, now, now it's going too fast and I'm not adapting. I'm not able to adapt, but it goes so fast. It moves back and forth, left and right, constantly. We're gonna play pinball. Wario pinball, 10 points. Keep the balls that come out of my nose and play with the left and right. You gotta go a little bit faster there, flippers, so I could keep the beat going. Stop laughing. Oh yeah, proper video game, pinball controls, pinball! It looks like a booger. See, it's big orb, green, spherical, and pops out of the nose. It's almost like it's evocative of being a big old booger on purpose. Uh, snorting, snorting good time, triple ball, here we go. Pinball! That's not really an actionable command. I've noticed that as we've been moving through the series, sometimes the command you're given doesn't, like, is not a verb. Is pinball a verb? Also, I messed up little two there. But see, then you just pop the note. I feel like there's a little bit of luck in this one. Wow! But maybe that's why it's a 10 point. Dude! Uh... Dude, what? Dude, no. No. Well, add this to the list of games that can be cheesed by unscrupulous smashing. <laughs> to be fair, maybe, uh, this is how a lot of people play, actually play pinball. Oh, see, there it didn't work. So, it's not a panacea. It's not gonna work, like, for real forever. But it works well enough to give me a passing grade, so it's all good. But yeah, no, like, some people, this is how they play a real pinball. Bring them to like a pinball machine somewhere and they'll just slam on the flippers without barely any thought. And you know what? I mean, fair enough. If, if you're having fun, I, I guess that's fair. I just don't see the fun of that. Like pinball is a lot of fun. Uh, everyone remember the pinball Metroidvania I played, I'm sure. That was a fun game because, you know, it, well, it, it tested your skills at pinball with skill shots and stuff. Even though I felt like sometimes the video game physics made some shots a bit unpredictable. But I mean, that's just video pinballs in general, right? I find real pinball a bit tricky, honestly, because it's real physics and like, you have to, you, you, you feel the weight of the ball on the flippers in a way that video pinball, I feel, will never be able to emulate. And I'm, I like, it's not that I'm saying that I expect that out of this. What, whoa, that count as a failure, huh? Game just new. But you know what, it's fine though. It's three times, three times my points, so it's okay. 
Yeah, uh, but that game is kind of strange. Like, the physics are weird. They're kind of hard to predict. Up until I decide, you know what? It's fine. I'm just gonna mash. I kind of remember this one. Boat your boat. Gonna float a boat. Land me on the float. I can't swim. So don't fail me. Or I'll make you pay. Why? With your death? If you can't swim, you'll just drown. Anyway, what? What's the- I didn't read the actual action, is it like- okay. It's a ground pound. They acknowledge that uh, Wario can ground pound in this game. I mean, Wario can also swim and at least Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land. Wario's a great swimmer there. Uh, so I don't know why he forgot. I don't know, maybe this happens earlier, then you land on a banana. and That looks like a fun little thing to float on. Yeah, yeah, butt stomp! Uh, like, he even, like, pauses and flashes before doing it. That's great. That is, you know what, that's great humor. That is great meta-referential humor because it's meta but doesn't pay attention to itself. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense until you realize that, no way, this makes too much sense. Yeah, land on that, ducky. Trying to understand the facial expression he makes when he lands. He does like this little duck face. Like, is he happy? Is he worried? Is he like relieved? It's like a, whew, I did it. I'm not gonna drown today. That's pretty good. Woo, that banana slide. But that's how we know you're having fun. All right, and flawless. I did it. I wanna, whoops, I pressed the button way early. And it didn't count, luckily for me, but by the time I could press again, it was way too late. So sometimes pressing too early is gonna have effect. I just like the little slide there, like the other items. I wouldn't feel comfortable aiming for the sl- What? <laughs> Wait, it just flies off. Whoops! Once again, I pressed too early and then I couldn't repress until it was too late. Do 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 uh, Float your boat. None of those are boats. Did it float? Hasty pastry, 10 points. Munch on this cake without getting plucked by the fingers. I love cake. Who doesn't? I'm sure some people don't. What's going on here? We're moving. I'm avoiding. Oh, he's just eating automatically. Got it. All right, he's a little hungry little guy. My Wario's all tiny, and he's like, whoa, oh, oh, oh. wait, is that a safe area, just going down the corner? Yeah, corner Wario, it is not a safe area, alright. Um, it's a tenor, so we're going to not quit immediately. See, look at that, you go from one place, then you go to the other. Wow, avoid. Whoa. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right, exactly. Sounds coming out of my mouth. I feel like level one, I could consistently do this. And, oh, whoa, okay, so, it does change a little bit, so be careful. I just went right into you, huh? All right, but this is gonna be level one. Hey, I won. Here we go, we got my tens. Uh, so this is called, uh, Using my failure to advance to go to whoa sinking. Oh, all right. That's okay. Well, it's kind of hard though like because like like Your ability to move is very very uh, you know uh, Stable you go at a speed the hands go at a speed That's it live with it. Hey only one more games to do this, this felt like it went quickly like, in spite of some shenanigans here at the star, like, wow, we just blazed through this row. All right. Airpane. That's pretty funny. It's a pun. Ten points. Maybe it's because all the games are short, which is good. Take the enemy planes out of the sky. Press the button quickly for rapid fire. Oh, where he was giving, like, gameplay tips. So you move, and you can hold, or you can tap to have a better shot. Look at that, I'm like a sweet plastic render of Wario on a plane. Okay, well, um, that plane did not have a chance. If I just hold a bun. Whoa, how did I miss? I didn't. Alright, okay. So you can, like, yeah, you can rapid fire, 
I don't know why you would feel the need to rapid fire. It's not like the enemy like really dodges as you seem to have a lot of time to so just kind of go into place. Whoa, buddy, get out of the airspace. I'm piling here. Look at that. It's destroying these fools upon the Mode 7 ocean. I know it's probably not actually Mode 7, that it's a SNES thing, but the Game Boy Advance was able to replicate all the modes, so shut up. That was weirdly aggressive in a way I wasn't needed. Hey! Yeah, I don't know. So, like, I am kind of digging the direction that the Wario Zone is taken here. I don't know if this is going to be consistent, but, like, of harder games in general, just hard games that are just kind of hard to win at, but, you know, less points are required. Like, there's been, like, a lot of 10-pointers and 15-points, and uh, that's just, I feel, like, closer to the WarioWare philosophy. Uh, I might be overthinking it. Also, I got destroyed, it turns out. It's a bit hard to aim for the planes because Wario's plane kind of takes up a lot of visual real estate, so it's just kind of weird because, like, you're in your own way. That's fine, though. We won. Next time, I was doing some more. Like I said, uh, doing the rows, but the boss, because I remember the boss is kind of a thing. So that's going to be its own fifth one. And my hope is that it doesn't take too long. So I guess I hope I die a lot. And then we can uh, do the last unlock. And WarioWare will be done the, before the year is over, which I think is fitting. Like, I did start this this year. It just feels nice to me to think about it that way.